Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I have something huge. This is this is something totally unprecedented for me. I have one of, I'm going to assume, the hottest products of this year. And it's not going to be out for a while, but I somehow have managed to get my hands on a set of FPV goggles. Everybody is waiting for these things. These are going to be huge. Before I show you what they are, you got to get some ground rules out. First off, these are not mine. A guy I know let me borrow them. He most, most assuredly should not have let me borrow these. I guarantee you he's on under NDA. I, however, am not, and I don't really care. Uh, I'm pretty sure the guy's gonna be in the clear. I don't know how they're gonna trace back to him, but hey, this is a huge opportunity for me. And most likely this is gonna be what cripples my channel because there's gonna be an awful lot of haters out there. They're gonna be really, uh, really upset that I did this, but you know what? As much as we'd be getting jerked around with a certain company right now, I think, I think, I think, I think I owe it to you. You know what? And if this kills my YouTube channel, so be it. I'll go down in a blaze of glory. Screw it. I don't care. What I have here is a very early prototype of the long awaited and the mythical HG0 FPV goggles. I, all right, so here's the ground rules. I was told I cannot show the OSD. I can talk about it, I can't show it because the guy's name is actually kind of baked into the OSD uh, just in case like footage gets leaked. I can't open them on camera. I open them and I've taken a look inside and I gotta tell you, looks good. Uh, I can give you my overall thoughts and feelings about these goggles, but I can't actually do anything um, like I normally do, but I mean, this is going to be more of a teaser than anything else, but I, oh man, I gotta tell you. All right. First off, the case is SLS printed. It is not an injection molded case right now. There is some light leak issues with the shell. They know about this. Um, it's kind of like what Fat Shark had with the HDOs where some of them were kind of opaque and light was shining through. Uh, these have this issue right now. They're painted. Uh, white, it's normal. It, it's a white material that it's made out of right now, and they're painted white. This is not the final form or the final material, but this is kind of the general shape. It's very fat sharky looking, you know? Um, but I'm... Okay, so the company, I'm, I'm about 99% sure who's making these is Skyzone, and the reason I say that is because of the OSD. The inside of the OSD for the HD0 system looks exactly like the HD0 system that you're normally used to seeing, but that's on a sub menu. The normal menu looks almost exactly like the OSD that I had on my last set of Skyzone goggles. There is a analog receiver built into this goggle. It uses uh, these three antennas. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, and it's non, well, it's, it's replaceable, but it's, kind of like the rapid mix module where there's no uh, external out um, there's no external display on it. it's all controlled through the OSD which is fine the rapid mix works just fine but you know take that for what it's worth you're not buying this for analog you're buying these for the HD zero system now I said these three antennas but as you see there's four on there inside of these goggles there are patch antennas up here in the front and it also has two more. Inside the software, you're able to select the inboard patch antennas or select the outboard SMAs with whatever antenna you want. I've just got uh, the, the four Omnis attached to it. That is so like really forward thinking. It does have HDMI input and output, but it's on the same jack. So there's one micro HDMI that can switch between input and output based off of function inside the OSD. The OSD is amazing on these goggles. Um, I still think the Orca OSD, definitely better looking, but this works, it works fine. The fart fan blows on your eyes, works great, it's quiet. Um, the the rocker that we're used to on the HD Zero VRX is gone. We're, we're down to a two button and a five direction stick. Way better in my opinion, I can't stand that rocker. I'm told it'll work on four to six S. Uh, it's got a jack on the side, just like you're used to. Um, the screens are friggin huge. It is DJI-esque field of view. They are huge. And the software allows you to incrementally 
bring the field of view down by like five degree increments. You can get it down to be the racer postage stamp, or you can get it to be the big cinematic, I'm just gonna sit back and cruise field of view. It is amazing. They're OLEDs, they are sharp, they are bright. It's like looking into the sun if you turn these things off. They are so dang bright. They said they're gonna be a thousand nits. I, I believe every bit of it. They are so stinking bright. Um, the external HDMI works on uh, 1080p and 720p, and it works uh, in 4.3 and 16 by 9, which is great. And these are some of the issues we're finding with like uh, other manufacturers of goggles. The weight, it's a little on the heavy side. It's definitely lighter than my Orcas with the uh, HD Zero VRX on them. They're definitely lighter than that, but um, the the weight is closer to your face, so you don't have all that weight kind of dangling off of you like you did with the uh, with the orcas. So when they're on, so when they're on, it's definitely a lot closer to your face, so it feels way better, way more balanced. There's very little light leakage around the shell. Um, I I'm very impressed. Now, here's the thing that I probably shouldn't mention in the OSD there's an option called DDR DDR in this case stands for double data rate you go from eight channels down to four is this sounding familiar to you guys you go from eight channels down to four and the picture becomes dare I say it about on par with DJI it is amazing looking and there's no variable latency. What they have done is they have tuned the for latency. They've tuned for performance rather than optics. As you would normally gain latency with DJI, it keeps you, it gives you a good looking picture, then it slowly degrades the picture. It'll degrade the picture before it degrades latency, which, oh my God, that's what I've been waiting for. If DJI would ever pull their head out of their butts and do like a racing mode where it favors latency over image quality, that's what I think these guys are doing. And I gotta tell you, it looks amazing. It, this is gonna be the new thing. These, I feel, are going to kill the DJI goggles. Physically, I think these goggles look better than the DJI goggles. They feel better, they're lighter, they're, the fan is adjustable, it doesn't just blow into your eyes at a million miles an hour. The community working on this cares and they listen. The graphical OSD, it's all there, unlike DJI where they just don't care. They're allowing you to use their system. This is driven by us, for us. And I gotta say guys, when these things come out, if they are, they can't possibly get worse than what they are. If these came out the way they are with like the normal case, these things are gonna be the goggle to beat. Like Orcas, DJI, Fat Shark, Sky Zone, uh, Isheen, chuck them in the trash. When these come out, the used goggle market is going to absolutely crash. Everybody's gonna want these things. If you're flying analog, if you wanna fly HD zero, these are gonna be the goggle to beat. I don't know if you guys could tell from my enthusiasm, I am so stoked about these things. I really hope that, Carl, you forgive me for doing this because I, you know I have to. It's, it just has to be done. There's no other thing I could do today with this I had I have to do this video sorry um, if anything I hope that this just drives business and drives hype open a pre-order open a Kickstarter let's get these things going um, obviously the the OSD is a little finicky there are some glitches here and there but it's pretty solid the way it is uh, I love the fact that you can switch between the internal patches or you can use the external side SMAs. The two top ones are always on. The two side ones are switchable between that and the internal ones. I heard that they're going to make a system uh, on the, the production shell that has like the little sled uh, inserts. That'd be really cool. I don't think you really need it, especially with the two SMAs coming out of the side. But um, yeah, I, I gotta say this is, this is freaking amazing. Oh, yeah, by the way, there is a power switch if you guys are concerned about that. There, yeah. All right, guys, uh, if you have any questions about this, put the, them in the comment section down below. I will try to answer what I can. Um, I mean, if I get in trouble, I'll probably just shut comments off on this video, but this video is not going anywhere. All right, guys, thanks for coming by. Thanks for checking this out. I hope you like to look at these things. Um, they're going to be awesome. Uh, I got to tell you, they're going to be 
Awesome. All right, folks, I'll see you next time. And as always, stay positive. There are a good things to come, guys. See you next time. Bye.